Hey everyone, I'm making a shirtless video for a reason uh, because um, I, I want to I um, speak about uh, uh, the fact of uh, many out there proclaiming that uh, um, the no pain, no gain. So for me, it doesn't work like this. I, I, um, I have a total, totally different uh, way of um, training my body which is, by the way, is not really training my body like really hard. I, I like to, to um, uh, go really very smooth with my body and without uh, doing too much exercise, keeping it, maintaining it fit and, and, and feeling good into this. And, and it's, about, it's, about, it's about training and, and doing it in a, in a way that gives me joy. So it's never looking to have pain. You will never see me in the forest running and having uh, uh, difficulty like this, you know. So I'm just always, <laughs> I'm always uh, um, uh, like to, I like to be aware when I walk in, when I run in the forest, and uh, I run as much as I I uh, I, I feel running until I, until I get a certain degree of uh, difficulty. Then I stop and I start walking, because I'm very aware. Um, by the way, I have been a personal and I'm a certified personal trainer. So for me, I'm very aware of the ascension process taking, uh, taking place in the body. So it means that, that my body, our bodies right now, we are shifting in, we do incredible work, not only on this plane here on the planet, while we sleep, we go to other levels and other dimensions and we also walk there. That's why sometimes we wake up in the morning and we really, really feel tired in the morning. And the body, the shifting that takes place in the body, the transformation of the carbon-based carbon cells to crystalline-based cells taking place, this is taking a lot of energy and the body needs to really, to really take it easy and not, and not uh, try to, 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 to do too much work. So I don't agree with, with most uh, people that are saying no pain or gain. For me, the pain, the body has its limits and we need to listen to our body constantly. That's what, why I do yoga, that's why I do meditation, because it allows me to be more sensitive in, in feeling the pain in my body. So the more I do yoga, the more I do even Pilates or Qigong, the more I, I stay focused on the awareness of how I feel every moment. And then I can also, in, if I feel pain in my body, then I will take care to not hurt my body to not push my body too much. So it's just about keeping the line, yes? So there are some days that I can maybe be able to run much more than other days. And then other days I will just go with it till, till as much as I can. There are some days I cannot run at all because, because I didn't do something special like to, to make myself tired the previous day. I sleep early uh, usually. And uh, when, the, when, the, when, the, when the light comes down around 10 o'clock, I'm always in my bed. So I have my, my rhythm and then and then this rhythm, I know that this rhythm of sleeping also shifting now, changing with the ascension process. So it's all about it's all about centering, recentering our lives, not anymore in the way they used to be, not anymore in the way that uh, that uh, the books are telling us, because the books are made by people that uh, think in, in a specific way that was working in the past in a third dimensional reality. We're no longer in a third dimensional reality. Anyone and everybody has everybody has shifted, and the planet has shifted of 5D, 6D, 7D already. There are many of us who are in this awareness. We can work with the conscious. Not everybody is aware of this yet. Yet we have already shifted. So so there's many many shifts happening. So when you become aware of this, then of course I don't say not do exercise. I say. Everybody has to do what they feel is right for them. Nobody can tell somebody else what is right or not, what is not right. What I say is that, for example, when somebody feels that they are uh, too fat, for example, yes, or they are, they are too thin, and uh, this thinking of, ah, yeah, I need to eat more food because I need to eat more proteins, and this is, all the, this is the old way of thinking, this is for me doesn't work like this any longer. For me, it's always, always in my mind, in my heart. So, so how do I do this? How do I keep my body fit? I just visualize. I visualize my body, my body being really healthy. Yes, I affirm every day I'm healthy. I'm in excellent uh, well-being. I make these affirmations. And then, and then when I look myself in the mirror, 
I might not, not like everything that I see on my body. I might not like everything that I see, that I that I see, that I may. I might I might I might not like something about my body. This doesn't does not mean that I will look at it and I will just point out what I don't like in my body. In my mind's eye, I will see a perfect body, how I want it to be, and how I feel comfortable into it, and how I'm happy, 100% happy being in this body. So I'm always visualizing being in the body that doesn't need so much maintenance to keep it. So I'm, I'm, I'm sharing with you, I'm doing like 15, 20 minutes exercise in the morning every day, or it will be like one day I'll do yoga and some Pilates, the next day I can do some jogging and some Qigong. So it goes one day like this, one day like this. And, and that's it. And, and then maybe sometimes in the, in the evenings I will go and do some, give it some meditation classes. And then I'm also uh, doing some yoga at the yoga school. But I mean, this is, this is, um, and then dancing a little bit. Once in a while I play some music and do some ecstatic dancing. Dancing is something that I like to do. It's a nice activity for me. It works for me better than just uh, uh, running, for example, because I'm getting, getting easily bored. <laughs> I like to dance. I like to keep it keep it flowing keep the vibration going like this with music and um, and then yes yeah, so so it's about this it's about it's about um, uh, using the energies of the ascension energies to create a reality and our body is also a reality it's just like part of part of our soul it's like it's like the more I go within and the more I become aware of of uh, uh, um, of uh, observing everything in my reality and creating everything in my reality so I'm, I'm not just observing I'm more imagining as well so I, I learn to imagine more what I want and not just with the body with everything else that I'm doing in life so and this is why I'm here as a creator this is why you are here this is why we came to this on this planet to, to be enjoyed to, to the purpose of life to be enjoyed and so I always see myself that I'm, I'm having a good body that I really like to, to, to be in, in and at the same time that I don't need to uh, maintain it too much and I don't, I don't need to have like a lot of pain to keep it and all this. I used to be an athlete before and I used to do a lot of exercise and I injured myself as well and, and, and I, have, I have learned my lessons. So people ask me, how old are you? I'm like, I am uh, 50 circles around the sun and I always feel 22. So that says it all. And, 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 and this, is, this is how I see myself and this is how it works because, because age and everything is relative. So it, it, it's, 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 like, it's, like, it's like we um, uh, can teach ourselves again uh, through entrainment, the entrainment of frequency and how, the, how we think. We can teach ourselves, we can teach our mind to think in a different way and then when you start doing this, then, uh, then everything shifts in a reality because that's that's pure quantum physics. It's 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 really really simple. It's simple mathematics. So like attracts likes, and and um, and yeah. So I think this is this is all I want to share. So um, I hope this uh, assists you in uh, learning how to keep a a body fit that is very healthy and also a body that looks like you how you like. Yeah. So so it's it's not about just about um, uh, it's about looking in, the, in yourself in the mirror and loving yourself and then you also look at yourself like an artist and say oh, you know, okay I would like to have a body like this and then and then visualize in your mind's eye and your mind is able to create the body that you want and then you just have to follow the signs you follow the signs of how you like your body to be and how you like to be healthy in your body it's seeing yourself happy it's seeing yourself being good in your body and, and not judging ourselves for where, wherever we are in our, in our life I don't have any problem with any people fat or or, or, or or thin or anything, and I judge nobody, and I judge not myself, because it starts also with the self, not judging ourselves for all mistakes we made in the past, forgiving ourselves, and then and then all this goes works together. So the more I learn this 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 about ourselves and forgiveness to the self, also this also works. So it's all all interrelated and all all works together as one. And the more we learn to have this, this uh, holistic approach, even in the way that we want to form our body, uh, that we don't have to work hard to keep a body nice and healthy and looking good. It's just about, it's just about how we visualize. Okay, namaste.